Hi, my name is Gavin Blitztra. I'm a technical specialist and STEM consultant here at Robotis. Um, today is going to be the part two to using everyday electronics with Dynamixels. Um, we're going to be going over digital sensors. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a rotary encoder uh, to control the Dynamixel in both uh, velocity and position control modes. Uh, I'm going to be using an XL430 the uh, LN101 so we can get real-time feedback from uh, the Dynamixel, a Dynamixel Shield, and an Arduino Uno, as well as an SMPS power supply and various connectors and, uh, and cables so that we can hook everything together. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put all this together. Um, here you'll see a wiring diagram of uh, what exactly is going on and how things are connected. Okay, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and hook everything up really quick. So the Dynamixel shield. And then let's go ahead and plug in the Arduino in, the SMPS, and the uh, LN101. So that's all that installed. Um, here is my rotary encoder. I'm only using power, ground, and then the two reference, um, two reference pins. I'm not actually using the switch um, yet. I'm hoping to get use that in a later um, what tutorial or example. So let's go ahead and plug all this in. The green is ground, red is power. So gonna hook green up to five volts. Oh, excuse me, green up to ground. Uh, the red to 5 volts and then we're going to take the two different inputs and hook them into pins 4 and 5. Alright, and that's all the setup that we need for this. I'm going to go ahead and switch. Oop, I forgot to hook up my Dynamixel. It's kind of important. Okay, plug this in. Okay, there we are. Okay, and that's everything set up. I'm gonna switch to the, the code now. Okay, here we are inside of the, um, the Arduino code. Um, so I'm gonna go through and show you all the setup that needs to go into it. Um, first, we need to find two outputs. How rotary encoders work is they work off of a differential. Um, some are high, some are low, and they tell like an else. Um, there's some really great videos to explain how rotary encoders, encoders work, and I'll, I'll link them down below. Um, so we have define output A, define output B. This is going to be 4 and 5. We have a counter. Um, this counter B is for a different program. We have a, a state, a last state, and a switch pin. The switch pin is if I was going to be using this uh, button inside of it, but I'm not going to be using that. Um, that's all of the def definitions. We're going to go into the void setup. Here we're going to say pin mode input for output A, pin mode input for output B. And if I was using the switch pin, it would be also be an input. Um, and this is all of the code that you need for, for that, uh, for the setup. Uh, our loop statement is where the most stuff happens. Um, this A state else uh, counter is just how any uh, regular rotary encoder would work. It's basically saying like if the state is not equal to the last state, you uh, increment by one. If it's different, then you de uh, decrement. Um, I also added a thing so that it would be counter equals counter plus 50 uh, or part 49. That way it increments in uh, increments by 50 instead of one. Um, because there are a total of 4,095 different um, positions it could be. Uh, and if I did it by ones, you wouldn't be able to see anything. From here, I do deb debug serial.print. Uh, this shows the position currently, and then it also shows the... It just shows the position currently. Um, here is where the actual command goes to the Dynamixel. So we have dxl.write. DXL ID, the goal position, uh, the counter, and the fact that it's a 8-bit uh, value. Or, um, 
and then right here we have the counter going back to zero if it loops over 4095. Because this is regular position control and not extended position control, it only does one full revolution. Um, then a state equals a last state equals a state. This basically just resets it so that it works again. All right, let's go ahead and upload this. I'm going to go ahead and switch the, the upload switch back to UART like that. I'm going to go into tools. Going to go to COM port 29, which is my Arduino Uno. Going to go in there, and then I'm going to go um, upload. So the upload will take a little bit to complete, and we're done. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and switch it to normal, and then uh, reset the Dynamic cell. And from here, we should be able to control it with rotary encoder and as soon as I hit past 4000 you'll see it turn back around uh, back to zero so that's how that works you can also see the um, the uh, actual values changing if we switch to COM port 30 and then go into the serial monitor let me just pull that up for you guys really quick okay here's the serial monitor um, and now I'm going to go ahead and reset so you can see everything that happens inside of it. So it's saying the torque is off, setting operation more, torque is on. And you can see it's incrementing in positions of 50. So that's controlling this in position mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch and show you guys what velocity mode looks like. Give me one second to, um, to switch the accounts. Here we are inside of the velocity mode example from the Dynamixel Shield. I have modified it slightly so that the encoder will work within it. It's the same um, includes in the beginning, defining the pinouts for um, 6 and 7 and or 4 and 5 will be output A and B, counter, A state, last state, switch pin if I was using it, I'm not using it here. Um, then it's going to go into the regular setup that it does for velocity mode. Um, it's defining which Arduino it's using, and if it's using a DUA, uh, then it will have two different um, uh, UARTs, that one that you'll allow to upload to and then one to monitor to. That means that you don't actually have to use the LN101. Um, right here we're doing the Dynamixel ID. This Dynamixel's ID is ID2, the protocol version also 2. Um, and then we're going to be going into the void setup. Same void setup here, pin mode out, uh, input for output B, output A, and switch pin. Um, this is setting up the baud rates for the um, what is it? The uh, serial monitors, both for the actual USB monitor and the LN101. And then we're going to go down into our void loop. Um, we have the A state equals uh, uh, digital readout. All of this is just regular encoder stuff. I've modified it so that every time it increments or decrements, it increments and decrements by 5 instead of by, um, by 1. I'm actually going to switch this because it's supposed to be 4 here because it adds 4 to whatever it is. Um, right here we have it so that if it, uh, it's going by units of percentage, um, so if it goes above 100 it will make it equal to 100, if it goes below negative 100 it will set it to negative 100. Um, the A state, uh, A last state is equal to A state just allows you to actually operate the encoder without it um, messing up basically. Um, so we're going to go tools, COM port 29 which is my Arduino, we're going to upload Oh, let me switch this over to the UART. This is important to do, otherwise it won't upload correctly. Okay, the upload is done. I'm gonna go to Run, Reset, and you'll see it start to move. So you can see as I switch the encoder around, it changes the speed of the velocity. I can reverse it. I can go forward or backwards, and I can stop it. Um, we can also check um, some of the values using our serial monitor on COM port 30. So let me switch to COM port 30 and then set it up so you guys can see. Um, let me go ahead and go serial monitor uh, and show it up here. Give me one second. Okay, so there's the COM port um, and I'm going to go ahead and show what it looks like when I spin it. I'm going to reset so you can see the initialization process. And there's nothing, so you can see 
up to positive 80, 89 ish. And we can go backwards, negative. And there you have it. Um, so this is a, a form of digital um, control for the Dynamixel. Um, it's pretty, it's extremely useful. You can, any sort of digital uh, sensor or control you can use and you can control it in either position or velocity mode uh, relatively easily just by modifying our basic uh, code. Um, you can read more about it on our e-manual. Um, if you have any other videos that you would like to see, um, please let me know um, and I will I'll make content about them. Uh, uh, thank you for for like coming in. If you could like and comment, that would be a huge help. Um, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.